Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we will continue the 60 minute trophy series and we've made a couple changes and one of them is we're going to remove the last played map off of the wheel and then on the next one it'll go back onto the wheel. So basically we're just going to take whatever map we played last off of the wheel, that way we don't get two in a row. Uh, some of you were suggesting to take it off completely until we played every map, but I like the randomness of still being able to get maps that we've played, so we'll remove it for uh, the next one, but then once we've done that one it'll go back on the list, that way it's not permanently off until we play through all of them. I think I probably made that a little more confusing than it needed to be, so let's just go ahead and get into the episode and spin for our first gun. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with that. I love the 6.5 as a lot of you guys know, so this is actually going to be pretty fun. And now I need to spin for a class 1 to 3. And we also need to spin for a class 9 weapon, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we now only have weapons that can go to class 9, and then weapons that will go down to class 1s, 2, and 3, so it's going to be interesting to see what we get out of this list. I'm hoping we don't get stuck with just a bow this time, since uh, multiplayer is not the most forgiving for bow hunting, but let's see. And of course we got a compound bow, which that covers every single class, so I guess it's 6.5 and compound bow. This is going to be interesting. Alright, so since last time we did Silver Ridge Peaks, let's go ahead and remove it from the list. Which means we can roll pretty much any other map, except we don't have Hirschfelden on here because that map is just uh, not great for multiplayer, so we're not going to have it on there as you guys know. But let's go ahead and see what we end up getting. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I can deal with Tiawaroa. The only issue we might run into is trying to find servers because there's not a ton of Tiawaroa servers up. So that could make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to have to stick to a couple servers and just hope for the best, I guess. So for those of you that are new to the series, basically what you have just seen is we've spun a wheel for the reserve and the weapons we're going to use. And we now have one hour to find a diamond in multiplayer using those guns and playing on that map. And if we don't end up getting it, then we have to spin the fail wheel, which has a variety of different, uh, I guess, things that have a negative impact on the game. And then there's a couple slots that will basically save us to where we don't have to do anything, but there's a ton of stuff like taking long range shots with the bow or with iron sights, uh, brain shotting a rare purposely, or brain shotting a diamond. So there's a lot of stuff on here that's not super great if we end up getting it. There's even one where we have to delete a rare female from our lodge, so a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily want to get. So hopefully we can find a diamond within an hour. Alright, and the clock has started, so let's jump into Tiabaroa. Now, there's actually a decent amount of servers up. There's not a ton, not nearly as much as you'd get on SRP, but quite a few for it being Tiabaroa. So, let's jump into this one because it's one of eight players as of now. Hopefully, we can get something good here. I actually did forget to mention uh, the reason it's called 60 Minute Trophy is actually because we can take a gold rare and we just crashed. Well, we're not off to a great start. But uh, as I was saying, yeah, we can take a diamond or a gold scoring rare. Uh, but for anything that has no chance of making either of those, we are allowed to use other weapons on them just to get it done quickly. That way we don't waste too much time trying to get the trophy down. So as long as it's not going to be something that will complete the challenge, we are allowed to use whatever gun we want on it. But if it's going to possibly count for the challenge, then we have to use either the 6.5 or the compound bow. And uh, we're not off to a great start. Like three and a half minutes in pretty much and we've already crashed. All right, so I just crashed for the third time. So I think we're going to have to restart this challenge on a different map. Tiaboroa is not really working out, unfortunately, which really sucks because it's my favorite map, but it really seems to crash a lot in multiplayer. I was doing fine in single player the other day on stream, but 
Man, it's not the same in multiplayer. For some reason, I crash every time I try to walk away from a lodge. So, I guess we're gonna go back to spinning the wheel. And we're gonna have to remove not only SRP, but also Tiawaroa, just because... In fact, I need to completely remove Tiawaroa, because it seems like it has a lot of issues right now. Especially in multiplayer, so... Let's see what we end up getting in place of that. Alright, so we got Leighton Lakes, which actually is not that bad. I do enjoy hunting Leighton, and there's quite a few places that I can find quite a few Blacktail and Elk in a very short amount of time, so this actually might end up being pretty good. We've done one Leighton episode before, and in fact, at this point, I think we've only done Silver Ridge Peaks and Leighton, so hopefully uh, the next one ends up being something different, but looks like we're going to be on Leighton, so let's jump into it. And at least on the bright side, Leighton has so many more servers that we can select from, so we pretty much have infinite options here. Hopefully that'll mean we'll actually get a diamond within the 60 minutes. We were able to do it in the last episode, and I believe what we got was a turkey if I remember right, and then we ended up getting a pronghorn towards the end, so let's hope that today ends up being very similar. It'd be nice if we could get one quickly. So this first server that I jump into is a level 4 server. And it's at whitetail time. This could be perfect. Hopefully we can find ourselves a good whitetail. Well, at this point, 13 minutes have passed, and I've only seen one herd of whitetail and quite a few small black bear and rabbits, but that's been about it. I was expecting to find a lot more on a level 4 server, so it's a little unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll keep searching. I think we'll be able to find something hopefully here at Mushroom Lake. And if we can't find anything here, I'm going to check uh, this lake over here. And hopefully it'll have something good. If I can't find anything at either of those, we're going to change servers because there's just not nearly as much here as I was expecting there to be. Oh my gosh, there we go. That's actually really cool. That is an albino blacktail deer, and I think that has a chance at being gold. I don't remember what score you need for gold, but it has been months since I have seen an albino blacktail. I honestly don't even care if this makes gold. I'm just super happy to find one. Oh my gosh. Well, let's get into position to take this guy down. That is super awesome right there. And it's actually a decent rack too. It's not super huge, but it's not the tiny rack either. Alright, so that should be fine right there. Let's go ahead and get lined up on him. He is feeding, so I doubt he's going to give us a, a uh, shot with his head lifted up. So we're going to have to just take one like this, which shouldn't be too bad. I think that should be perfect, and it definitely is. That is super cool to find, and even just the other day I was thinking that I really needed to find another rare black tailed deer because we didn't really have any good sized uh, albinos and here we go we found ourselves a decent sized albino I think it's actually one of the same racks that's very similar to the melanistic one that we have so that's kinda cool this guy will probably end up replacing one of the ones that we have in our lodge already I don't know which one will replace but I definitely have to put this guy in the main lodge look at that beauty there that is a good looking black tail deer. It's got a decent rack too, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and pick him up, hopefully this will make gold. It's just a silver. 10 points below. Wow, that's really cool though. It's been a long time since I've been able to get one of these. I honestly could not be happier. And honestly 6.5 did really good at that angle. It pretty much went through both lungs, and it even went through the scapula and still was able to get the lungs. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Pretty impressive. Oh my gosh, that is a level 5 black tail deer. Well, server number 2 of the day we ended up getting the host of, so I decided to switch it to uh, black tail deer time, and yeah, it's already paying off. We got ourselves a level 5 right there. And I don't know if that thing's going to make it, though. That does kind of look like a trolley rack. It's a little bit thinner than I would like, and it doesn't exactly have very good back tines, so this definitely could go poorly. Hopefully we can get a shot into this guy, though. 
and hopefully he's gonna make it should be good and yeah he is losing HP get one more in him just to be safe hopefully this guy makes it I don't think he will though however if he does have good tip to tip spread then it could save the score but those back tines do not look great and the mass is not good on him either feel like we're looking at a troll but we'll find out shortly I wish I could have got a look at the level of the host before he left but he left right as I joined and there's not really any zones around these lakes so I feel like it was another low level server it seems that way at least there he is though let's get a good look at this guy's rack I really am curious oh that might be okay actually um tip to tip spread is not great back tines look a little bit better than I initially thought they were this thing might make it it actually might but it's just barely below 0.40 below Wow so close yet so far at the same time that's unfortunate that is really unfortunate oh well it is what it is we've had an albino black tail and now we get trolled by one seems about right let's get a couple screenshots of this guy and then we will move on to something else so we now only have just over 21 minutes left in the challenge and we've been trolled and found an albino so not exactly what we're looking for that albino was a really nice surprise but haven't found anything that can complete this challenge and we're now coming up to a lake that has always had a lot of good stuff for me I've always found tons of blacktail and elk here so we're gonna check this out real quickly and if we don't see anything here I think I've got one or two more areas I'd like to look on the server and then we're probably gonna jump to a new one Ooh, that looks good that's a big deer right there unfortunately it's just the four that looks like a five that's unfortunate for a second I really thought that that was gonna be it but unfortunately that is just the rack that looks similar to the five rack but it scores much lower for some reason actually there's two of them hold on there might actually be that one definitely has a better estimate but don't think he'll make it either yeah it looks like uh, neither of those are diamond potential unfortunately so I just spooked a bunch of Roosevelt elk and there is two max weight tracks mixed in here so we need to go try and find these guys I didn't get any sight of them because they spooked way before I got up here so I don't know what these guys could be but I'm really hoping there's gonna be a level 5 in them we've only got 13 minutes left so at this point we just need to find something well that's a warning call from them let's just chill a little bit and try to not spook these guys off again oh here they go here they are there's a three that's that's just a three right there oh my gosh they are so close another three there is another small one that guy looks bigger actually I don't think he is well this is gonna be interesting we're just gonna have our rifle out and ready because I don't know if these guys are just gonna spook off all of these look tiny though this can't be this can't be the same herd I mean that's a max weight estimate there honestly pretty surprised they didn't spook off sooner but they are running now uh, let's see if we can find that other max weight estimate one what is wrong with you yeah they are not spooking off as quick as I expected them to there's the doe that was running around with them I only see one level four though there's only one max weight estimate elk here so there's still one that's unaccounted for that's really strange I don't know if we'll ever find him and we only have 10 minutes left so I think I'm going to probably finish running this little section of the river and then at that point we should have like seven minutes left and if we don't find anything by then we will just hop servers and hope for the best on the next one but I got a feeling we're not gonna complete it I'm really hoping we can just get like a clutch mallard or 
something like that because it's looking pretty grim I don't think we're gonna be able to complete this challenge I'm not really seeing much uh, impressive looking trophies on this server all right well with nothing being down here besides a couple small coyotes and a couple not diamond elk we need to go to a new server we have six and a half minutes left I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this as you guys know, if we spot the diamond before the timer runs out, we don't have to kill it before the timer runs out. We just have to spot the thing, so hopefully we can find something pretty quickly. Well, that's a big buck, but it's definitely not going to make diamonds, so unfortunately, it's not what we're looking for. There is a few whitetail here, but I think that's the only buck, and he's not big enough to make it, so... Let's try to find another spot to jump to. I checked Runaki already and there wasn't really anything there. Um, we could check up here briefly, but I don't want to waste too much time since we don't have much time to waste. Right about now, I would just love to find a clutch duck because those used to be one of the easiest things to get diamond, but I don't see them nearly as often anymore, which is really unfortunate because they honestly would completely save me in these situations. All right, it's gonna take a little while to get there, but I think this is honestly our last hurrah. There's not really anything else that I can do, so we are just gonna go over to Chila Lake. At least I, I think it's called Chila Lake. I'm, I'm just gonna call it that because that's, I believe what it is. Yeah, we'll just call it Chila Lake. I'm not uh, very familiar with all the lake names, but we're gonna check this one real quickly because all the other areas on this map seem to have hunting pressure, but this one doesn't have any zones. And we are at blacktail time, so let's hope for the best. Hopefully there'll be some nice blacktail and maybe a monster elk or something. I am starting to get a little bit worried that I'm not going to make it to this lake in time. We only have a minute and five seconds left. And we're still a little ways away from the lake. I'm a little bit worried now, but as long as we can get a big buck in vision, then it will count. So as long as there's a diamond at this lake we should be able to get it but obviously can't even think that there will be one since the level 60 server but we can hope for the best or uh, I guess can't assume that there's gonna be one here because it is a level 60 server completely butchered that sentence while trying to think of what I was even gonna say there but we should be able to see very shortly and yes there is a bunch of deer there and a bunch of elk. Please let there be a diamond. As of now, none of them look big enough. And we just ran out of time. That is unfortunate. Well, we'll do one last little scan here. See if we could have found something. It won't count now because the timer ran out, but... I want to at least check to see what we missed out on. Yeah, none of these over here that we spotted are diamond potential, so that's it. The challenge is over. We lost that round. So I guess it's time to spin the fail wheel and see what we're going to have to do. All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. I don't know if there's anything else we're going to add on to this. Uh, let me real quickly check the suggestions that you guys have put in and maybe we'll add something else to it. Alright, so I went through all of your guys' suggestions and I decided to add this one to the wheel. Diamond with soft point ammo. So, if we hit this, we have to take an ammo, or we have to take an animal with soft point ammo, which, as a lot of you know, is not nearly as reliable and has hardly any penetration. So, you have to be perfectly broadside in most scenarios. And this was suggested by Float Goat. He had said soft point only for the next five videos but that's not exactly uh, doable for this type of challenge it's not exactly what I'm looking for for this wheel so I modified it a little bit to diamond with soft point ammo so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we end up getting well that's unfortunate we have to go delete a rare from our lodge a uh, female rare so yeah let's go do that now the question is what rare are we going to be deleting i've got a lot of female rares put up but i don't know which one we should delete first uh, i gotta figure out where i've got the majority of my female rares i'm not even sure which lodge they're in 
We saw a few in that room, but I'm not really wanting to get rid of the bighorn. You know, we could get rid of this albino mule deer. Let's do that. So now the tough part, finding it in the trophy manager. Actually, there's an easy way to do this. All right, so we took that on the date of 319. So we just got to find that in here. And that should make it easier. All right, there she is. Let's go ahead and delete the albino mule deer. Got to make sure we're deleting the right one. I wouldn't want to accidentally delete something else. But there we go. We deleted it. Let's, uh, hope we don't have to do that again too many times because after a while, we're not going to have anything left to delete. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump to the other lodge and put up our albino blacktail because I really want to get this guy in a special spot in the lodge. Oh, and as you guys can see, I changed things around a little bit. I decided to put our gray mouflon in a multi-mount with three diamond Iberian wolves that I had in other lodges. So, uh, one of them is an older scoring system, unfortunately. We'll probably replace that at some point. I'd love to get a rare added to this, but for now, we got our gray diamond mouflon with three diamond Iberian wolves. I think that looks really, really good. And honestly, this room is starting to look insane. I just love how many animals we're able to fit in here because of the multi-mounts. It just looks insane. But the problem is, I don't know where to put this black-tailed deer. There's so many plaques that I think it would look good on, and so many rooms that it would fit with, but they're just all covered in good trophies that I don't want to take down, so... Give me a second and we will try to find a place for this guy. You know, as much as I do like this guy because he is our highest scoring black tail deer, this was back when Diamond was 209, I believe, so this guy just barely missed it. Nowadays, this would be a massive Diamond, but at the time that I took this, this guy didn't quite make it, so let's go ahead and replace him with the Albino. There we go. Beautiful. That is an awesome looking trophy. I think it fits pretty decent in here, although we might move a couple things around just to make it look even better. There we go. I think that looks better right there. We got three blacktail there, and then along here we got various other trophies. I like the way that looks. I think it's pretty good. We don't really have anything else that we can put up, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the video there, but if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click like, and ring the notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. I try to post videos as often as I can, so there's lots of content to be watched. If you guys have any suggestions for this series or for a future video, be sure to leave a comment down below. I try to read as many of them as I can, and there's a very high chance that I'll reply to yours. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!